So hello. Your space. Hey, greetings. And there's a creeper right there. Look at that. <laughs> oh man, the yeah, spawn he's... is insane. Speaking of which, is probably yeah, we... retoggle the rain because it was raining when I first logged on, and um, there's spiders and silverfish all over the place. I had to pillar up to escape from them, which is what <laughs> this is all about. Oh, my game sounds. I forgot Look, about that. There's a creeper pillaring up over there on top of the weird-looking tree, whatever that is. <laughs> Yeah, this Was there a texture crazy. pack for this? Nope. No texture pack. Okay. Oh, and here's another little friend. The spawn. Okay, we have to locate. The spawn is insane. So, we are on Final Fantasy 2 by 3 2. And this is a CTM map where the goal is to collect 11 records found in chests. And here are the rules. Uh, always play on easy or higher. No peaceful, we are currently playing on hard. Survive in any way you can. Locate the 1100 records and the jukebox monument, the JBM. Do not use mods or plugins except the lights out, which we are currently using so we could actually play the map properly. Um, do not build a nether portal, that's a general rule for CTM. And do not exceed the boundaries of a map, is another general rule. So we have a map here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like that there's a oh, sort yes. of a background story other than just uh, go find a monument for no reason. Oh, yes. <laughs> and for my viewers, this is our Smalik, Ron, and he is an adventure map reviewer, uh, many other, uh, a custom map reviewer, more appropriately. He's reviewed doing a map, so I'll let you introduce yourself. Greetings. Yep, this is our Smalik, and. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm wearing my CTM skin today. <laughs> made the t-shirt just for this. And, uh, yep, I've made a couple maps for Minecraft uh, as well as reviewed a few. So I'm eager to play. This is really my first multiplayer CTM. And this is a hard one, a difficult one. It'll be the thread says 16 to 20 hours, which... oh. The first one was 20 to 80 hours, and it was pretty much close to that mark. So I think the estimate is a good one for this map. And our upload schedule will be that I will upload the full thing, and our Smalik will upload uh, maybe little teasers or something. But he has many other series on his channel, and his channel is our Smalik. You can check that out. Link will be in the description, of course. And I think we're ready to start this map in full. Yeah, the this is uh, the quietest the spawn has been in the last five minutes. I've got I've got seven string, so I'll give you I'm, a couple of those. I made a white wool already. Um, we can we can use wools. Um, wools are not for the monument, so we're all good. So we have a little map okay. of the story here. So you have map zero two, which is just two of them in the chest, or. Oh, I put it back. Uh, it is... I don't know what it is. Map 1. Map 1. So I have map 0. This says, Long ago, yeah. our ancestors found a shimmering blue dot amongst the sea of stars. This tiny planet made of water and clay appeared to be not unlike our own. In the spirit of discovery, mining and crafting, our ancestors set out on a journey across space to pioneer this unknown world. From what we know now, the ancient settlers' colonized, colonization was successful. We received several several transmissions with details of native terrain and life forms, but then the signal stopped abruptly. Interesting. Oh. Now, so. I uh, am currently playing Vex uh, Gift Warped on my channel. It's really the first CTM that I've played all the way through, and... I am by no means an expert, so I'll probably follow your lead for the most part. At least for the start, perhaps. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, map one says, 1,000 light years later. Your mission is to find the ancient documents that might lead us to understand the vanquishing of our ancestors. Or vanishing, sorry. 
you must power the ancient vessel and set us and send us any ancient records you find. Our teleportation technology is limited. We can only port organic matter. You will have to resource all the tools you need to accomplish the mission. We start at the only coordinate we received from the original settlers. Good luck. Now I see right outside behind this uh, wall of rules there's some glass with a sign on it so I'm wondering if you hmm. think that's a good idea. I did see a chest. Some oh there's an area marker here. Um, I played the first one off camera okay. and it was between 20 to 80 hours and um, there are certain parts um, that look They'll probably match the same. The monument looked like a huge spaceship, which might be why oh. the story is sort of space colonization-like. But this marker says Shell Shock Island Intersection 1. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there's, there's another class tunnel to the right. Read us a sapling here. And mobs like crazy. Um, the spawn yeah. for the other map was pretty crazy too. But um, yeah, I wasn't sure if this was—I wasn't sure if this was going to be Final Fantasy related, sort of, you know, classic Square game or um, or not. Oh, I never played the Final Fantasy. The uh, any of them? Oh, we oh have wow, company here. <laughs> But it's clay beneath. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't see any. Oh, there's one piece of wood. I was about to say I don't see any wood. They're they're beneath all these leaves. We could get a sapling, but we don't have dirt yet. And here's some swords and stuff. Some torches. I just dumped everything I have in there. We each have golden pants. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. And two bread and one beef. Okay, and did you take a sword and stuff like yep. that already? Yep, I have okay. so four I torches, grab. so I'm oh, six now. I yeah. might as well. Hmm. Well, there goes oh. my monument that was on my... So you're playing Gift Warp, and... Yep, did you give me your pants on accident? Nope. Oh, weird. I must have a little bit of lag going on then. Oh, how much lag? Do you have like block lag or such? Because that is a question I have. So hopefully you uh, don't I experience have, it. But I see you sort of moving three, jumping kind of three blocks at a time. I oh, no. seem to be moving fine, but like my pants were lagged from appearing in my uh, on my paper doll. That would be server side. Um, I hope their uh, issue fades, but. I think it's okay for now. Oh, goodness. Oh, I think the silverfish spawn is might be in the tree. Yeah, there's one in the tree right there. But you have no pick oh. yet. So, wait. This isn't... Wait, this isn't class on this part. It's... Oh, wait. Oh, we have boats here. It says two area one. Oh, well, here's a chest. Are the mobs lagging for you? Like... Yeah, a little bit. Like, I think I have a boat in my inventory, but it hasn't shown up yet. Hmm, that's not good at all. Maybe I don't. I just took one. Okay, there. I, I wouldn't, think one of them. I wouldn't be experiencing the same lag because I'm local host. Mm -hmm. And there is two gigs for this server, but it's quite possible I might need more. All right, so you think we should boat, or should we clear some more of the island? Um, there is some wood, but it's becoming night, and yeah, we yeah. do have enough for one bed, but we don't have enough wool yet. For oh, we do have wool at the spawn. Well, well there's wool all over the place. Oh yes. Uh oh. <laughs> huh. Um. Wow. They're gonna. Should I restart the server and maybe boost some more RAM to it? Uh, that's up to you. It it's it seems okay for now. Okay. 
Um, so, this is... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, boat. Thank you. This is... Area 1. Um, I see nothing really useful here except that it intersects the other islands. Okay. Like, this just says 1 here. <clears throat> there are the chance of... Whoa, my throat. There are the chance of saplings with these leaves, but there's no dirt otherwise, so you can't really farm trees. Okay. Well, let's, let's just grab this wool. Yeah, I got seven wool. Okay, awesome. I just wanted to make sure we grab some before we get too far. Oh, I was like, what's hitting me? <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just... I see no reason to stay in here. I'm... Hungry and three hearts. <laughs> okay. So do we just sort of go straight off this path, it looks like? Yeah, it does look like that. This is kind of That's rather odd. Like, compared to Final Fantasy 1, this is not what I was expecting at all. Okay. But <laughs> I do see something right off the bat. I am playing on far, but... Yep, me too. So there is something loading, and it's all covered in clouds. I see, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it stone up there? Cobblestone? Hmm. Like a floating island? If it's oh, yeah. cobblestone, it's quite possible it's also silverfish. So I'm going to oh, drift... Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drift towards this sign. I, the first... CTM map that I played with massive silverfish was uh, I think it was Cold Fusion Gaming's um what was it called? Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> well. Uh oh. Okay. Phantom chest but we should uh. Oh. Are you surviving? Well oh, I think so. I've got two skeletons, a zombie, and a spider, and I'm getting them to fight each other right now. Nice. So I'm just waiting until the last one survives. Yeah. Looks like the zombie's going to be the guy coming after me. <laughs> okay, I can't take the third boat because I was swarmed at spawn. So we should really get a bed oh, going. No. Oh my, do okay. see you up We're there. Down one skeleton and he's gone. Cool. So this area is clear. I got your stuff. Uh which is Okay. And while I wait for you, I'm just going to go ahead and make a crafting table unless you think that's a bad idea. Oh, that's always a good idea if you don't have one. Okay. Oh, and I can actually make a bow. Oh, that could go for that. Um, we don't have arrows yet. We'll get them from skeletons primarily from now, I think. But there is a trap yep. door by the the area marker, which is the glowstone yep, obsidian thing. Okay. What is? I kind of wish we could make sandstone uh, swords. <laughs> that would That'd be, be cool. cool. Yeah. Um, it would change a lot of maps because they rely on sandstone not being okay. used useful except for blocks. But here we go. Thank you. Uh, do you want like your string and I only um, have it's all twelve good. torches and one pork chop. I think I had the pork chop before though. Um, you get to save it because I just respawned, so my food is reset. But I do want to see what's in this chest. And do we still have enough wool for a bed? Uh, yep. I we should do. at least reset our spawns if we can't reset the night. Oh, it is a okay. map here. Map should two. I make two beds or one? Um, If you can make two and set it to the day, that'd be pretty cool. Yep. I have two beds. Uh, just put them down here somewhere. Um... Can you, can the you area put markers, it in water? No. The area markers okay. were good last time. Black. Okay. So map two. 
Our first discovery of life on this planet, a grass-like substance, is the cornerstone of a habitable world. We have begun forming a small village here amongst the rocky archipelago. Oh, man. <laughs> the vegetation <laughs> seems not unlike our planet, making farming very easy. Our only concern is a dark cloud that looms on the horizon. We have not yet witnessed weather formations like this one. The settlers. Oh, time to reset spawn and not let the scooper. Hang on, there's a. Yeah. Okay, so we do have endless wood here. I'm. So no nice. water, so no harm, and let's sleep. Ooh. Weird spawn. I wonder what. Yeah, our... we must. Go ahead. I wonder what our Y coordinate. Y134. That's interesting. Yeah. So there's yeah, a we're lot up of above stuff. the. Uh... <laughs> oh, that's bedrock, I think, up there. Ah, uh, so he can't poke holes through it. Okay, seems fair enough. Three, two. We will go into your darkness of the clouds. So let's, um. This is not silverfish, actually. It's good. Yeah. Um, I think a pick is in order to get some spawners down. Yep, I'm just checking to see what's what's up here. There's not really. Okay. So in these, um, in the first one, there are huge land landscaping. Okay. Like, um, and there is stuff throughout. But there is like a focus point in them, and then that's where the record rooms were. And so it's not. I didn't have to search for any wolves like hardcore last time, but. Um, Does that mean out open or something? They're visible, I guess. But um, okay. there is some. Tiki torches up ahead, I see, on top of these pillars. And this looks like a good swamp, so there won't be too much spawning because it's a lot of water. And I think that's a good balance for first level. So yeah, it have... seems like Vex maps don't necessarily have like a first, second, third area, do they? Um, The last one I've seen that was Spellbound Caves that had intersections and areas that were separate from the rest in a way. Yeah, I remember the intersections, but I didn't really equate that to which way to go. <laughs> I thought the numbering was just like the order he built them in. Um, I'm, sh I'm sure I was not correct. Hmm. Okay, I have a, two stone picks, two stone swords. So I'm okay at the moment. You think we should head towards the middle of this area? Yeah, um, can I get a pick though? Oh, yeah, sure. Sweet, thank you. Mm -hmm. This is pretty good. Um, stone, stone tools are a good starting progression point, I think. Restricting it to wooden tools or signs even is kind of obnoxious to me. I usually like <laughs> some armor and some uh, tools that don't wear out in three hits. But Because mm -hmm. I normally do play on hard and maps are balanced towards normal. And I know Vex maps are balanced towards normal. But... I think this skeleton's coming at you. Um, best to avoid skeletons in the water, I think. Yeah. That is true. Ooh, that was close there. Yeah, there's a lot of lily pads here, too. Oh. That's not good. Okay. I should have put another... Uh... But did you spawn in the beds? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna die here. Well, at least you don't have to worry about food yet because you keep dying enough to not have it matter. 
<laughs> By the way, it might be dying because we can't regen. Ooh. That's a little spike. Oh, boy. Okay, what do we have at hand here? I should have put some some wood in that chest. Hmm. I'm going to uh -oh. circle around this island and dodge some more. I'm going to get re get my uh, swords and stuff here really quick. Where did I die at? I think you were on the little island thing to the left, and I was on the one to the right. Okay, well, all the skeletons are on the one on the right right now. <laughs> oh. Dang, this is not good. This is the death <laughs> counter. I'm not even I'm... sure if I'm going to do a death counter. Because that would be insane on the editing. Yeah, I'm glad I left the... Uh... Oh, wait. Did I not leave the crafting table over here? Whoops. Okay. Let's oh, I go... have... Ooh, I have the wooden pick crafting table. Okay. Oh, that's... <laughs> right in my face. <laughs> Here's uh let's at least I'm gonna at least get a wooden sword so we can try to uh recover our stuff here. I'm gonna put a bunch of supplies in the chest. Nice. Oh you got your stone back. Oh <laughs> you sees me. Oh no. Yeah, it can't strafe in the water at all. Oh, come on, creeper. Help me out here. Help so me out, creeper. We'll need a new strategy. Blow up, blow up, blow up. Oh, no, well, another one. I'm not sure if creepers in the water destroys drops. Oh. Uh, that has me curious. <laughs> um, this... <sighs> yeah, we need a new strategy. Well, um, we can we can take a little bit of time to get uh, wood and stone and things here on these pillars that are somewhat lit up. Right. And then then we can just yeah take a new strategy into the bog. I don't know if we should go up. Actually, I was about to suggest that as an option we could go up like there's vines up the trees. So yeah. we could at least go up fairly high, provided we don't chop down certain blocks, but we could go up this tree here and to this point, or go up this way and all the way up, but the treetops are pretty widespread, it won't cost us many blocks to bridge, and could get a nice viewpoint and mob hostile mobs don't spawn on leaves. Well, that's good at least. <laughs> and hostile mobs are crazy right now. They don't have many places to spawn, which is why they're pretty claustrophobic. Hmm. I'm trying to make a Slightly better stairway up this tree. Oh, I just put it on the wrong side. Okay. It takes forever to break blocks when you're shifting on vines. Yeah, I'm up near the top of this one. Oh, there was no vine there. Ouch. I see you down there. <laughs> <sighs> oh, did you get up to the top? Yeah, oh, I'm there's on the top a, of this one. There's a zombie up in this tree. Really? Shoot, there's no vine on that side. Um, this tree has some vines on the opposite side. Okay. I'm currently Ooh. punching my way up. <laughs> okay, so where are you? I'm okay, up. I see. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Okay, so I wonder if these leaves are the decaying type or not. Although I did just get a sapling from it, so I punched it. Wait, there's a torch on this tree too. Oh, up there? Yeah. Well, this torch is on a lot of these. There is a central p 
pillar. It looks, it's a cylindrical castle structure. Hmm. All right, I'm going to head over to yours. And I'm going to grab some of this stone. Good call. Um, the good thing about wooden blocks is, is that when you craft it, you get four for every one right. you break. So it's an easy, easier way to get blocks faster. Plus, if we're skilled at parkour enough, we could jump, catch the vines, and climb up the next tree. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I can bring you up a wooden pick and a wooden, or I'm sorry, stone pick and sword. Okay. Um, axes might be useful at this point, too. Ooh, I see two chests. Up ahead, yeah, I see two chests. Oh, that's an... Up in oh, no.